This is my new 6 degrees of freedom arm. Thanks a lot to Lobo CNC on Thingverse for designing and sharing this 3D model and for the clear description about the printing parameters and assembly. Also thanks to John Law for making a detailed video on printing and assembly of this arm. In fact, I've got to know about this arm through his videos. I've added the links to this video and 3D designs in the description. I have 3D printed all the parts and assembled the arm as described. Currently, there is no feedback coming from the motors for this arm. I still have to add joint encoders. Also, I have printed the gripper but I did not find appropriate screws to fix it. For now, I have written the URDF to work with ROS. Let's test the motion of each joints by sending joint angles from RVs. This is the robot model in RVs. Let's start moving each joint. I have set the maximum velocity of the joints to a lower value. Back to home position. Let me show you how the electronics are connected. The Arduino Uno is connected to ROS via a publish subscribe interface. It will take the joint position commands from ROS and send it to the slave controllers using I2C interface. The two Arduino Nanos are the slave controllers which accepts commands from the master to control three motors each. Both the Nanos are using Axel stepper library to control the motors. And these are the six A4988 stepper motor drivers driving one motor each. I have created a movit package for this arm to compute inverse kinematics. Let's give some random target position and orientation using movit planning UI and see if MoveIt is able to compute inverse kinematics and plan path to get to the target pose. Let's start. As I already said, this arm does not provide any feedback to MoveIt. Hence, I'm using fake controllers and giving the joint positions directly from joint states topic to Arduino. We can also use MoveIt Commander APIs to set target position and orientation from C++ or Python scripts as I did in my previous projects instead of using MoveIt Planning UI. For more stuff on robotics and ROS, go through www.rosroboticslearning.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. Then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on robotics and ROS.